what we call assumed mean. What we call assumed mean. So our discussions about mean were basically those three. I can have others in your, but since we are in S5, we may not, but I can just write for you one more, that when you go to, if later the books, if you use textbooks, there are books that will give mean as, let me see, well, let me get here. There's why we shall write mean as A, so this one is your homework. You look for it. There are some few books where you'll have that times C. So there are some books where we replace D with the, what you call T. That system, some books call it coding. So T comes from D. T is equal to D over C. So if you replace D, T by that, then that formula, we somehow adjust it. Actually D, yeah, D over C, yeah, you get T. That means you change the value of D becomes TC, it's a product. So you replace the value of D by T times C. So the formula becomes that. That once in a while, you'll find some of your teachers using it, though it's least used. It's not commonly used, but if you want, if you see it, you don't really get scared. So that was last week's discussion. Now today, we want to finish this topic by talking about mode and median. Mod and median. So we can start with mod. So all these things start as far as P5, P6. P5, P6. I'm lucky all of us, Mr. Sender, all of myself, we see either our children in primary or the some primary schools that we get attached to, we see work from, P, from P1 up to, and myself, I see work from P1 up to university mathematics. So it's very good that you see how these concepts are, are used. So one of the concepts discussed in primary is mod. So can remind us what we call mod? Cynthia, what is mod? Anybody tell us what he thinks is mod? I can call Cynthia. I don't know if uh, somebody tell us quickly. Mod? Mod is the number of times something can appear. Uh -huh. Ronnie has said number of times something can appear, the frequency of something. What is most frequent is we call the mod. Isn't it? So mod is used several times in our daily lives. We use it so much. We do use mod to do so many things. So if you had come back to our board to share what you're talking about, so we need that basic definition of knowing what something is. It's the value that occurs most frequently in a given set. So if you are many at home, we used Nansubuga last time. If there were many, there are some people where you have twins at home. That means in terms of age, that age for that group becomes the model age. If you at least the people at home get it. Like here, let's, if you want to give an example, people should volunteer their age and we see. Let's start with Ronnie. Ronnie, what's your age? Ronnie, your age? 17. Ronnie is 17. 
You are? Next, somebody, volunteer your, your age, one by one. We have Ron 17. 16. We have 16 from somebody. Don't mind him, tell us if you're 16 18. again. 18. Somebody's 15. 18. So somebody's 18. 15. Somebody's 15. Are you sure in seniors five under lockdown? Okay, it's your age. You must be a lady. Uh -huh. Can you mute and I hear from somebody else? 18. Now, somebody is 18. Uh, let's have another one. Somebody was not giving us his mother there. Let's have another one. We need to mute. I'm going to mute people and you unmute one by one, isn't it? Let me have Amina. Amina, have you given us? Amina, what's your age? Patience. 18. Patience, did you give me or it's the first time? It's the first time. No, Patience 17. Eight. Hey, now 17. I've, I've already written 18. So let's let's assume there's another one with 17. Okay, I had I sort of had some little interruption. Let me let's proceed. Probably we could use the number we have. Uh, that's from our class. We so what's the mode? What's the mode of age now for our class? Who can give us? 18. The model age is. 18. So given the data, however, when, so you basically look for the most frequent. So here you can see 17 is appearing twice, 16 is appearing once, 18 is appearing three times, 15 once. So if I had 18 appearing three times and 17 three times, would you say the mode is 17 and 18? So this is as far as P5, P6, P7. Now at this level, we graduate and we say, let's get mode for group to work. I think the only thing we do, the only two other things, getting mode for group to work and getting mode for, from the histogram. So for group to work, depending on which book you are using, somebody can write that, or this. Can you write that formula? So for group to work, for now, senior to A level and so on, beyond primary, we need to look at mode in this form, in that form. We normally have classes. So mode can be obtained from that. And if you remember, L1 is the lower class boundary of the model class. This delta one, is the difference between the highest frequency and the value before. And delta two or D two 
is the difference between the highest frequency and the value after. And the C is the class width or class size. So some books will use I for C, all this, all these and the rest. So we need to, so I hope you have that formula. We can now give our example and see. We can give some two examples and close mode. Or oh, the, the last, the other one, you'll go to your histogram and get more from the histogram. Actually, we talked about it last time. So is that okay? Should I clean my board? Cynthia, should we yes, clean the board? Okay. Good, thanks. So you can have an example. Same time, I'll just speak one that we already used. Then this one we used for weight. You remember this example we did last? I like giving it because of your challenges of getting class boundaries. So can we, those who are around, whoever was around, you have this example, 52. So when my space is not enough, you already have this. 60, 64, 68, and I think it stops at uh, 72. Then here you have the 47.9, 50. So those who are around, you have this example. You have that example and you have three, 17, 50, 45, 46, 57, 23, and lastly, 9. So you can say, determine the mode for that, for that group of data, for the data given. Find the mode. So if you have look for the mode for this particular group, and if you want the mode for this particular group, Basically, we basically we are looking for the model class. So your first under your solution, you need the model class. So who can give us the model class? Who can tell us the model class? 57. Yeah, no. the one with 4.067.9. Okay, this one. So the class with the, I think I can try. We see that. So from 64,
to 67.9. That's so your first duty is to identify the model class. You have to find the model what? The model class. The one with the highest frequency. Now in your free time, you are going to find out if what frequency density, what do you do? That one should be among the little things that you need to, because I think one year it was set or it has not appeared. Most cases we do like all level, we use just highest frequency. But if the classes were not the same, what do you do? I don't know, I want you to check about that. So once I identify the class, I'll look for its lower class boundary. So the lower class boundary now is 63 point. Remember last week, we had this number, 63.95. That's where some of you get problems. You are used to 0 0.5. Yet this is correct to one day small place. Now errors here come into place when you'll be talking about errors. That's how we get that. Now the delta one from the formula is the difference between the highest frequency and the value before. So do we get 11? And delta two is the difference between 57 and the value after. We shall have 34. Now the class size here is basically, I told you last time, if they are the same, you say 48 minus 44, you get four. So the class size is four. Some of you also class size is a problem. Well, we have points. So the C here, I'll note it here, the class size is four. So when I have that, it means I have all what I need for mod. I have the 63.95 plus the D1 times the C. You could even put here over, so over 11 plus 34. And then you simplify and you get your answer for mod. So who has an answer there? Who can give us the answer to many of the small places? I'm waiting for somebody with an answer. Can we get somebody to give us the answer? 64.92777. If you want, sometimes if you want, you can put the units for me and the rest. That's what we call the mod. Then it ends with eight. It can end with eight, okay. So I want mod, that's how we do it. The alternative, they can say get the mod from the histogram. Like last year, I think they said get the mod from the histogram. If, if uh, when you get time, I want you to look for last year's paper, you'll start a question about mod, probably. It was there, but it was continuous data. So, there and we, we say this time we shall save more time for introduce the, the other topic also, other section. So I want to clean our board and go to median. Mod we are fairly done. Those two examples can do for mod. Now you, what you need is the examples we discussed last time, there are questions where there was mod, you can now calculate them because we are not given the formula. Histogram, you can draw and do what we did last time. Now for other areas, they ask, which is better? Is it mod, mean, 
Now, for since we are a mathematician, I may not go into that, but in your life, if you work somewhere, your father wants to know why should we use mean, why not median, why not mod? Which one is better? What are the advantages? So in your life, as a statistician, you must understand which of these measures is better than the other. Why should people use mean? Why should, when should we use mod? Those now you need to read in, when you get some free time, you need to read about that. Now, median. Median should not be confused with mod. Median is something which comes from the word middle. Most of you want always to be in the middle position. You don't want to annoy you. You don't want to annoy your father, your friends. You want to be a bit neutral. For me, I'm in the middle. Even at school, you don't want to be too much of an extreme something. You want to be somewhere, a bit in the middle. And that's happened in life. Even with the height, you'll find people want the middle height. When you are too tall, people saying, that girl is too tall for her class. When you are too short, also people will say words. As you move, people will say words. Cynthia is very tall. Mm -hmm. Cynthia, are you the tallest in the, in the family? No, teacher. Uh, you are the shortest. I think so. <laughs> That's that. With the physics, you are okay. Physics talks about center of gravity. You have the best. You have the best center of gravity at your place. So everything has advantages. So median. Who can tell us, Cynthia, tell us what's median? What do you remember about median? Cynthia, do you remember median? Yes, median is the, is the middle frequency in a set of given data. Median is the middle frequency. Can you repeat what you've said? And we see it's the middle frequency. Repeat. Can we repeat? Median. Mm -hmm. Median. Mm. Um, middle is the middle. I don't know how to say it. It's on the middle in a set of a given data. Okay, is is the middle value the middle frequency? Because there are two words there. That is the key word you're talking about. It's the middle mm -hmm. value. Okay, it's the middle value. This is that difference. When you say middle frequency, that one becomes challenging. Actually, some of us, some of you have challenged the median. You run to the middle class and you assume it has the median, then that becomes a problem. Though you, we can, we don't have a lot of time, but you could have added is the middle value. If you look at the primary way of defining, they talk about middle value when values are arranged in either ascending or descending. So from P5, P6, you look at the median, if you want your, like since you, how many are you at home? How many are you at home? So we are six. You are six, uh, uh, you won't work for me. I want that to be the next example. I want, Abdul Nur, how many are you at home? Is Abdul Nur still there? Yes. Oh. Abdul Nur, how many you, you are three? Yes. So give us the age for the three people. You want to pick your age for the three people at home. Number one, the, the youngest. The youngest has 15. The youngest has 15. Probably it's you. Okay. Next. 17. Hey, you don't have a father and, a, and then the, the another one? 18. You said, I thought you said you are three. 
So you have three, you have three children at yes. home. Yes. You don't know your mother's age and your father's age, or they are not available. I'm not sure of their age. You are not sure. You are right, by the way, even sometimes that's very common. And you're not a lady. If it was Cynthia, she knows all the ages of the family, <laughs> including the judge. So from this set, what's the median age? What's the median age? Median age is Cynthia, what's the median age? 17. It's 17. So you are range from the youngest to the oldest. That's what they didn't define. five. Arrange data from either the, the oldest, the youngest, or youngest, the oldest. Now let's go to Cynthia. We are sorry for the other members. Cynthia say they are six. Cynthia want yours. You are six. Give us the six. Mm. Give the age for the six. Number four. one. And four. four. Okay. Number two. Sixteen. Sixteen. Number three. Eighteen. Eighteen. Number four. Twenty. Twenty. Number five. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Ah, uh, this is a lady. She knows the, the dad and the mama. Huh? Number six. Say your six. Fifty. Good. Cl clap for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Abdurrahman, you see, the girls have to know the birthday for the mom, the birthday for the dad. When they turn 50 now, since they are going separate 50 for the dad. But now I want, so each of us is going to write down your age of the people at home. You determine whether it's an even number or an odd number. Now, if we're using since as an example, all of us come from somewhere. Now, it's a duty of Abdurrahman and the others to know the ages for the relatives, whether even the, the Shamba boy get to know. So now, what's the median age for, for this year's family? Because they are even, what do we do in P7? We add and do what? We identify the middle values. Add and divide by what? We add and divide by two. And therefore, for you, Madam Cynthia, your median age is 19. Doesn't appear in your age distribution, but that's the concept of even. When the values are even, we add the two values and divide by two. Is that okay? So this is how we get median from P7. And math is on this, even in some courses, those who do arts at the university, they are doing simple numbers. They start with this. So now having talked about P7, let's go to group to work. Let's graduate from one family to many. Let's now graduate to some serious people. They are serious parents. Last week, they brought the lady from Mukono with 40, they said she has 42 kids. The problem, you don't listen to news, but there is a WhatsApp that lady is celebrating. She feels she feels the, the home like a school. Hmm? Your number attending this class does not reach her smaller than her family. So median for group data should be still L1 plus either it's L1 or LI, depending on the book you're using, N over two minus. Sometimes people say N plus one. Those won't be the big discussions, but I'm, I'm giving the most common, most common things that are in books. Oh, my things are disappearing. 
divide by the frequency of the class times the C. So do we remember that formula? Where L1, lower class boundary of the median class, and total number of observations, FB, cumulative frequency before the median class, FM, frequency of the median class, and C, class size or class width. So I want to give examples for this. Pick. Now, if I'm to use the one we've just used, the other one, our usual example of weight, since we have little time, you can pick this one for weight. The 44, 47.9, 48, Fifty two to fifty five, fifty six to fifty nine. So you're basically picking this example to save time, but you can have many others. Can use any other. But I liked using it because of the decimal places that disturb some of you. Six to eight. And finally, 72 to 75.9. We have the frequency. Frequency three, 17, 50, 45, 46, 57, 23, and nine. So our solution, that's the question. We are saying, let's look for the median. So what do we need here? For median, you start, let me use another color. Hope, let's go with red, though in life, like a student, you don't use red. But I'm looking at differentiating the working from the others. I'll go back to black after. So first thing you must do, unlike mod, for you to do median for group to work, you first arrange. Cumulative frequency is a concept of arranging people from the lowest to the highest. So you arrange and say, I have three people below 47.9, then they'll become 20 below 51.9, they'll become 70, so you're adding, I hope people are together here. 115, 161, mm -hmm. 218, 214, and finally 250. So that's the first duty for student. You must have to let frequency. And here we are told there were 250 learners. So that gives us that. Now, this is what you use to help you get the median class. So once you have this, that becomes your N. Your N is 250. Your N is 250. Let me go back to, to black because 
principles, general principles, unless you are. You have cases. The police are the ones who use red. You, you are making a statement. They put the things in red, either to scare us. So I want to go back to black. <laughs> so that Martha O. Nansuga doesn't get scared. Some of you get scared and say, eh, mathematics is difficult. They even use red to write. So you first start by identifying halfway. Like when you looked at Abdunur, three people, half was three over two. That's why sometimes we add the one. So halfway was the second. Here, half of 250 is two, is 125. So 250 by divided by two. So this is very critical for you. Now, when you get the 125, come and move and look for that figure until you find something either equivalent to it or something that exceeds it. So you move and ask, these are three people, 20, 70, 125. So basically 125, if we are doing a search, I want you to understand median is you have arranged the 250, like you're going to look like the people now, the army is recruiting, they arrange you according to weight. So how do you search for the 125? You are starting, you want the middle weight. So you are seeing the first three, they are not close to the middle. 20, 70, 115. Now when you reach 160, it means you have bypassed or the person you are looking for is in that group. So you come and circle that class you come that's when the when you, you check with the police from massacre when the dog took you took the route and came to your house they come and they took they called on off people say please oh, where there's the date they circle that place so now this is our median so our median class is we have 60 to our median is 62 63.9 hope you you okay with my steps so very critical i'm trying to be a bit slow because i know some of us these things we take it for granted that you remember but somehow we forget them now I need to get L, I've started with N over two. Now I can go to L, since I've got the median class, now I can look for the lower class boundary of this class. Now I know, actually some one of you told me she had a weight of 60. So she's here and you want the real median weight. So the lower class boundary is, I hope you remember that. 59.95. So L1 is God. Then what else do you need? Frequency before the median class. Frequency before is this one. To let the frequency is 115. Hope you've seen that. You have C. C from the previous question was four. 48 minus 44, that is C. Since the equal classes, it will be the same. Now we are remaining with frequency of the median class. This is 46. So I have all the entries I need. So can we all substitute to get the median? Can we now all use the formula to get our median? So I hope you are not depending on the recorded work. 
you are finding time also to work out. Mass is like constructing, you must be hands on. We all do the work, then you, you'll be okay. But if you are there, just recording and go to watch your, like somebody was Abdul Nouris for Real Madrid that lost yesterday night, and you are wondering why it lost to a no team. You better do the listen to things first. Football is all there all the time. Anything can happen in football. So I need the answer from let me see which which person has said nothing today. I need the answer from now. Sugar today are quiet. Did you join or are you watching from the from somewhere? Or you come in? I'm I'm you have not said any, you have not given us any single it. answer. Hmm? <laughs> Your network is bad. I'm sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. You owe you a support. No, teacher, I was just listening. People are okay. giving answers. Hey, Kata, I need an answer from <laughs> you so that you are present. OK, teacher. Mm, so can you think about the answer? Okay, so let me first calculate. Here you are calculating. I'm going to pick somebody else. Time is running. Teacher? Yes? Teacher, someone is asking of how we got the C as four. The C as four? I just do pick. You say either 60 minus 56. This is 60 minus 56. 60 minus 56 gives you four. Do you see that? Yes. Oh, if you want to be the, 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 the usual way you do for you, you do 63 upper class boundary. Minus lower class boundary. This is the traditional way of doing it. You take upper class boundary minus lower class boundary. But since I've not given you this, I, I, I took a shortcut which can work, and it's always true. You just say 60 minus 56 or 64 minus 60, it will work. These are the same classes. That's how I get that four. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So do we have the answer? Nasuga, finally, have yes, you teacher. talked to your neighbor to get, to get the answer? <laughs> so give me the answer. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. The answer is 60.819. 1956. Clap for yourself. <laughs> yes. Give you buy yourself <laughs> lesson ends. Eh? <laughs> you can take yourself out and you buy yourself some something. So that's median. I want to give one more example now, which will cater for median and mean general one. I may not ask mod because mod that will come later when it's a bit slightly slightly more much in the work because more when the classes are unequal, probably use frequency density and use the histogram, like I think last year's question. But let me give one last example to combine our two mean and median. This is what I gave here. So that remind you of that, then we shall have finished that so that we introduce something different also. So I, can I clean the board? That's Suga now. Can I clean? Hope you finished. And Suga is not. Yes, teacher. We clean. And who is, is, is Abdurrahman there? We clean. I've cleaned. 
since in Africa, when you are quiet, it means you have said yes. Hmm? When you don't say something, somebody says you have agreed. So now somebody says, are you buying me lunch? And you keep quiet. Then he sure just comes for lunch. So you say no. Yeah, uh, when you say no, then you know you are broke, isn't it? <laughs> or you, you don't buy people lunch in, in the lockdown. Isn't it? You say there is curfew at 1 p.m. Hmm. Or you have cafe at home. Okay, let's come back to class. We do want to make example now, but I want to have all the examples I've given were for discrete data, somehow discrete, but you can have continuous, can have continuous data. And if you look at last year's number, I'd put it on my phone, but I don't remember. If not, I'll check for it probably next time. Last year's number, one of the numbers, section B, was about histogram and the and median and probably mean. So let me pick an example here from my book where the you have continuous work. Mm -hmm. Where the work is continuous. The example says it's about age. I'm giving you the summary of it. You have age. And the age has been written zero to under five. Mm -hmm. But those the government they have said they are not going to school. All the under five, they're supposed to be promoted automatically. No baby class, no middle class. Do you remember that? No top. Since you know that that's what's happening. Your children won't start the nursery. If you produce now, like some of you, they're saying some girls are producing in VAC, in this for VAC. So for me, I've, since we have been locked down for two years, let me go to school when I'm already an investor for human beings. So under five are not at school. They're not supposed to study. So you can have this as the age distribution for some, let's say for your clan, you have that. Then they give you frequency. I'll make it simple, it's in thousands. So I'll give it in points. Doesn't mean, you know, there, there are people. So when I say 4.4, you are multiplying this. Uh, it's in thousands. Let me put something here. So each figure is times a thousand. Hope you have understand what I put there. So 44 means 4,400. 4, 8.1 will mean 8,100. So, so there were points there that year. So you don't quarrel with your teacher when you we see such a number. How can frequency have points? It's so one of summarize and tell you that each value you're going to multiply by that. The number is thousand. So we want to calculate the median and the mean. So since you are rising, I want us to compute the mean and the median for this work. The mean and the median. So because I'm going to use, I'm going to raise these two words, at least one of them, because I'm going to use that for our working. I'm going to use this space. At this time, let me take it down this way so that it doesn't affect my place. So if you're talking about mean and median, we need X. Those were around last week. We need X. 
Uh, what else? We need X. If you want, we shall need X. So if you're talking about mean, you shall need FX. But if you're talking about median, you must need cumulative frequency. You need cumulative frequency. So you need those if you have to work out median and mean. So we shall have X here. If you remember, this is 2.5. 5 plus 0 over 2. Hope people remember that. So can we get the values of X? Can we get the values of X? Is this 10? I hope you are working out the values of X. I hope you remember. Ah. Are you okay with that? Hope I'm being heard. If I check with my group, my people. Hope. I hope that's okay. Patience. Patience, is that okay? okay. Yes. Alex, is that okay? Yes. Alex, I hope you're okay. Now, <laughs> now can we multiply F by this? And we multiply, because you want mean, you multiply 4.4 times 2.5. So you'll have 11, you'll have 81, you'll have 10.5. You know, with the start, you need to work on accuracy because you are bank people, you work in the bank. So you need to be comfortable with the figures. Don't fear figures if you are doing mathematics. Don't have phobia for figures. Mm -hmm. Some of your relatives scare you. Math, that is impossible. A girl to do math, those things changed. Girls do anything these days. Hmm? Girls can do what? Can do anything in life now. Can even find them roaded drivers. Hmm? Hmm. So who has totals? I have those figures. Now I need totals. I'll need total for total frequency. I'll need total for this. And then I'll need cumulative frequency, which is 4.4 plus half 12.5. Then you'll have 23.0, then 37.6. So this example is good for you. The height was set, people really didn't understand. They, they were looking at abnormal frequencies because there were points. Yet that these are human beings. If you count yourselves in your division in Kampala, those who vote are in these numbers, like could be 50,000 and above. If you listen to the electoral mission announcing votes, they're in 50, 52,000, 100 people. Those could be the votes. So I want totals. Who is giving us the total? Let's have who today, number go. Last week you shared, today shared that the answer for summation FX. Number go if you are there. Teacher, I have 
one I have one eight seven six point two five. Clap for yourself. Hmm? Or give yourself flowers like in Nasare. Do you remember how they give flowers? Hmm? It's good to reward yourself for something. At least you are writing. I thought you are not writing. So the mean will be, we told you, we remember the formula. So when I write this, what number was given? Divide by the number of the total number of the voters. Now, because because the 1,000 appears here and there, I may not show it now, but finally, in the final answer, in the mean, it will be there. But since it's mean age, actually, you won't multiply the age by, the age will be a simple number. Because somebody may ask, why is that 1,000 used? For mean, you don't need it. Because you are getting mean for the, the mean age. So age will be still, will be okay from that answer. But if I had wanted number of people, then you must remember the 1,000 to count. So you must take note of that. So what is the mean age now? Mean age, somebody can help number go finish the whole number. Thirty-six point zero one two five. Let me write it here because I want to save space for. I'm saving space for the median. Thirty-six point zero one two. If you want, you put the years. So on average, these people, the average age for that is thirty-six. So you check Uganda when you read Sasibu and River, they say the average age for Uganda you is. People are young. This is what they do. They have the possible ages groups. Then they get the frequencies from the numbers, and then they get the average age. So this is a very powerful measure. On average, Ugandans are 36 years. That means when you talk about COVID, where well, we say COVID is for people above 50 and above, some of you don't mind. Even don't mask. You've never put on a mask. Then it because you know you are in under, below that age of under 40, under 45. So your risks are few. So in every community we need, but if it was Europe, the German and the others, their average age is up there. Many people are above 6 and above and 70. So you get an average age of 6 or 50 and above. So probably that could be why those countries had more deaths than some of us, than in our country. But you all, you, the challenge is we, we, we killed our relatives who are old. You didn't save, we didn't save them because you said, ah, COVID is not for me. Yet you have your relative who is 50. So now let's mention about median. We know the formula, but what we need let's first remove this. I go back to. Now, median, we have to get the median class. So like before, we need N over 2, which is 52.1 divided by 2. So we get this. Hope I'll have enough space for this number. So I'll have 20. When you divide by it, what do we have? 26. 20.05. A 26.05. So like before, you come and look for that number. You come and ask yourself, is 4.4 close? So you move. Let's use, let's use another color like this. You move to look for the 26. So 24, you, you are like this business when you go for and they look for Mugole. And then they meet Nansubuga and they just bypass her because she's not the Mughal, isn't it? Oh, they, they, they normally look for men. They bypass Felix and they are looking for Abdul Nur, isn't it? 
That's the same thing. You look for something, you know. So we are looking for 26. So you cannot use 23. The way you look for Abdul Nur, you don't go with Felix. Is that okay? Now, Subga, if you are looking for Abdul Nur, don't get tired and go with Felix. Please maintain your search. <laughs> so, yeah, you are that, you are what? <laughs> We're not saying, we're just giving an example. So 4.4, 4, 12, 23. So we are looking for 26. So we look for something which is above the 23. Now, some of you say 36 is too far. 23 is close. No, 23 is close, but we are looking for number 26. So the 37 includes the 26. You get the point, Nasuka, when I use it as an example here. The 37 is a cumulative value. So 37.6 includes the 26.0 you are looking for. That's why we pick 37 and we don't pick 23. Because most of you see 23 is closer. It will be closer. The other one is far. No, this is not far. It contains the, because they are fifth, they are. 14.6 members here that you add 23 plus the 14 to get this. So the 26 is part of this. So that's a very, very important point you need to note. So I've got my class. Now, which class is 32, 50? So now that class has all the others, but because of space, I'll try just to minimize and say this now continuous data. So when you talk about lower class boundary, this when we take 30. The L1 is 30. The N over two is the 26.05 minus the cumulative frequency before is this one. You see the 23. 23 is coming before this class. So that's the cumulative frequency before. Now the cumulative, the frequency of that class is this one, 14.6, 14.6. And then the class size here is, because the classes are different, the advantage, this is continuous, you basically say 50 minus 30. This what I've done, 50 minus 30. So this is 20. And then we get our answer for the median. So you need to be careful. Because some of you will ask questions, you ask your teachers, but the classes are different. The classes are different, but not all of them are median classes. The median class is this one. It has its size. So I don't need to know the size of the previous one. I only need to know the size of this one. So I hope that's how I want us to conclude median. We, you should be careful. There, that number was that, it was 1990, I think 1998. Some of you are not even born. 1990, either nine, yeah, 1990, December. Because 1998 was unique, it's like lockdown. Senior six sat in March, and also senior six sat in, in December. So this it was likely either it's the March number or the one, those who sat in December and became a very big issue. So we need to know how to get that. So what answer do we have? Who has an answer? Who has a good calculator? Let me pick somebody I've not used before, seen before. Felix has said something. Let me see other people. And Angela, Angela, can you say something? You could have gone away even. Angela, Pensius, Anthony, Asha, they're all Asime, Asman. 34.178. That is who? That's Anthony. Anthony, thanks. Clap for yourself. You buy yourself flowers. <laughs> 34. Point, repeat 34 point. 
174.178. If you over round, because I said in the other week, give answers to about five decimal places. Is that okay? Mm. So the list that I use in my book is 34.178. That's the minimum when they are marking. That's the, the worst answer. When you give, when you give 34.178, it's the worst answer to give in terms of banking because this could be money, 34.178 billion. It means if you are working at the counter and you round somebody's money, it means you are going to put your personal money because the guy could have got 34.1776. So that rounding becomes a problem. So we said from the beginning, HS is very strict over these four places. So you don't give the minimum. You give like five, unless the answer is exact. That's when we give something like that. So this one, I don't remember whether it was exact. So unless you have questions, I've finished median. The only thing remaining will come probably later how to get median from the cumulative curve, mod from the, but in your free time, Try to work out mod. That year they didn't ask for mod. But if I'd said mod for this number, what would you do? Those are now your personal assignments that will be you'll be discussing. Julian has a hand. The hand is up. Julian, you are all oh, come teacher up. Is asking, teacher is asking, why do we divide the 52.1 by two? I'm not understanding how, how that comes about. Okay, thanks. Eh? Let's go back to our screen. Probably we get somewhere, we clean this board. Why do we divide by two? What's wrong with my things? Mm -hmm. She said, why should we divide by two? Let me first get, um, I'm trying to look for some space so that we have, as I said, the challenge I have with the Zoom is very good, but it has not given me many blackboards. So when you go to the university or later, you'll start using Google. When people change from Zoom to Google, you don't complain. I would have just generated a new, a new board probably. Now here, let me share and uh, try to explain to, to our young friend. Now, this cumulative frequency here, the zero to five, the 4.4 is for the under five. So in real times you're saying, those who are under five are 4.4, are 4,400. Those are under five. Those are under 15. Like now they say you are 15 million who are supposed to go to school. So it's the same thing. Under 15, they are 12,500. Under 30, so whenever you write cumulative frequency, this is what you are meaning. Under 30, they are 23. So under 50, they are under 50, they are the 37.6. And the process is going on. Let me move this. The process is going on like this. Let me, I can use the color. Hey, I need to do something fast. Okay, so I have under 70, we have 47. And finally, under 90, they are 52.1. Now, you, you look at, so we have arranged 
our population in terms of, we put them in ascending form from the lowest to the under. So from your baby sisters, those who are under five are this. Those who are under 15 are this. Under 30, under 50, up to the, your judge, the oldest person is under 90. So the total number of human beings we are having, if you had put, is this. If I'm to remove the, isn't it? That means, like now you can say, in your class, we are 27. That's the total number. But so if you arrange your height, if you want median, you want to arrange and find somebody in the middle. So the middle of something, you divide the total by two. So we come and get N over two. So N over two is 52, because there was a point there, divide by two. So we want to find the middle number of human beings up to halfway. The way we did with the Abdurrahman when they are three, you would divide three by two, though we do three plus one for discrete work, so that we get the number as the median. So you first arrange this in ascending order. Then once you arrange this, what you have here is multi frequency showing people under. So that's why you have this, and you got the 26.05. So that means half of this is 26,050. So the person you're looking for is number 200 and is 26,050. So you come and look for that class here. That's why we took this as the class. So I hope you get the point now that we divide by two because the basis, the definition of median is the middle value. And how do we get the middle value? We use frequency to get the number of people we have. Like right now, you are 27 in class, including me. So if we write our age, if we want the median age, we shall divide this 27 by two. That's what I've done. So that the person in the, with the median age will be around number 13.5. Or some books will say 27 plus one over two when the number is old so that you look for number 14. So if, if you can all tell us your ages, number 14 will have the median age for this class. That's why we divide that figure by two. So either you divide by adding one plus over two, if the work is discrete, but once things are in cumulative frequency, we can, there is no problem, we could divide the total by, by, by two, there is no problem. So I hope you've got the point. Yes, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So any other question about median and mode? Any other question? Naga, you, 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 you want to speak, can you say something? No teacher. No teacher? Have you understood? Yes. Okay, if there are no questions, I wanted to use the last 20 minutes to introduce somebody. Is there anywhere we use a thousand? Okay, we can answer. During that year, if you check, let me see. If you have the question bank of 1998, let me see if I have it here. Though no, I don't have it. This is starting from 2000. But if you have the question book bank, that year they asked, I said, those questions are good now, but it can come later. But it's saying, when do we use, for this question, somebody has asked a good question, when shall we use 1,000? So I want us quickly to, before we proceed, he has raised a very good question. When shall you use 1,000? When will the 1,000 be used in this question? Who can tell us? When can the 1,000 be used?
Can somebody give us some clue? Okay. When can use the one thousand? When finding the number of people. Uh -huh. Have you heard? When defining the number of people, you'll use the 1,000. Actually, that question is in my exercise. I picked it. There is somewhere they said, find the number of people under 18 years. Okay. Determine, the question said, determine the number of people. So if we add this, now people under any age. Now yeah, that year they said under 18 years. Mm -hmm. Number of people under 18 years becomes, we shall need a thousand. Because now number of people, if we try out this one, because I don't know if we shall get a chance to discuss it again, then some of those questions become general. If you want number of people under 18 years, you come and look for 18 years here. Isn't it? 18 years is 18 years will, will, will cater for under five. So 18 years we take people under five. So we shall say 4,400. Those are under five. You see that? Those are under five. Then we add those one under between five and 15. Those are 8,100. Do you see that now I've multiplied by, I've multiplied by the 1,000 because I want number of people. So either you do 4.4, 8.1, but after you multiply by 1,000. But now because here they have 18, now that's why I didn't want to give you the number. 18 now becomes, becomes a challenge. We call that some bit of interpolation. We have to do 18 becomes it's halfway. We cannot take the full 10.5. 10.5 is under 30. Now you want, because now like in Uganda, under 18, you're not supposed to, like you girls, you're not supposed to get married when you are under 18. But you'll find since you are telling the mom, mom, I'm big, I'm in S5. I can be allowed to do anything. No, under 18, you are vulnerable. You are in the hands of somebody. Your parents decides for you. Though even when you're above 18, you will decide. But under 18, you're not even supposed to get a boyfriend. You have to ask for your mom's permission. But some of you by P5, you had a man friend. Isn't it? That's what they call what? <laughs> I don't know. So you have had several cases. So under 18 here, what do we do? If I'm to do how people get, you say 18 minus 15, you get a fraction of this class. Which years do you need? It's those who are between 18 and 15, because already 15 has been covered, but over 15, over. 30 minus 15. Then you multiply that by the class size of this class, which is 15. Actually, not by the class size. You multiply that by the frequency of the number of people, which is 1,000, 10,500. So I may not pick this very fast, but you come. I think when I'm finishing the topic, some of those questions, actually they are the last, you'll find it under the questions that we want to discuss. That part is there. So you've raised it, but you'll see it. I hope people have got an idea of what he wanted. When do we use 1,000? We can use it when we are working out number of people. And I try to give the example, but the way I see the example, that year when we marked even, we got almost no student passing it. There were like 5%, everyone was failing to get number of people. So, so I was laying it that should have come at the end, but because somebody raised it, I can give you an idea that we could do that. And it's not so hard. It's a concept where we use like almost median concept. So I hope 
That's okay. So any other question outside that? Outside the one one thousand, it was good. So when do you use the one thousand? When you are answering number of people in that particular case. So should I introduce something or are you ready? We go to yes. variance. Okay, let's introduce now the last bit of this chapter. It's a bit long, but let's try and introduce the last bit of what you call measures of spread. Let's conclude the day by talking about at least the, the, the starting bit. Oh, my God. So who can tell us the things she knows about measures of spread or measures of dispersion? I think we did them in ACE4 still. Somebody who has not said anything today. Can you remind us about measures of what we're discussing, median, modern, mean, and measures of central tendency? All the our answers we were talking about the middle values. We were talking about you, the young in this country. Then it. We're talking about the young. Now we want things that talk about the very, very, the youngest and the very old. So we have what we call measures of spread or dispersion. If you want to give it a heading in your notes. Measures of spread. You spread something or some books, we call it dispersion. Dispersion. Mm -hmm. Measures of spread or dispersion. That's our last discussion about this, and about this topic. Mm -hmm. So here at the same time, because you have very little time, about 20 minutes of around about 20, isn't it? These normally, we say these are things that are spread out from the average. There are things that talk about the common things you did in primary. Measures of spread, the first one that we discuss a lot is range. Range is a measure of spread. Range is a measure of spread. There is quartile range and goes with so many others, upper quartile, lower quartile, quartile range, all these ones, semi quartile range, all those are measures of spread. Quartile range, semi interquartile range, or some people call it quartile division. So those in also in some in business, people want to know the range. Mm -hmm. That's why in, even in marriage, there's a range. Your mother will ask, how old is the guy you're bringing? Then Nasuga says, the guy is only 60. He says, eh, that is more of your judger than you what? Mm -hmm. But campuses don't mind the age. They say, ah, uh, age is just a number. Mm -hmm. So another one that basically introduced, there's this one. We introduced it basically for the purpose of, of helping us understand the definitions. It's called mean deviation. Though we don't discuss that a lot, but help us to understand once we understand mean deviation, then we shall understand what we call variance. I think next for you don't, some people don't go to variance. Then once you have understood variance, we can talk about standard deviation. 
So if you listen to people who are in research, these ones are very, very useful. In addition to me, this is a topic that works in all subjects, whether geography, whether law, whether what, whether engineering, whether medicine, people talk about standard deviation. People will talk about range. People will talk about mean. So we call these as measures of spread. As measures of what? Spread. Even you at home, you have range for your last born and the first born. Then it, some of you, you are the first born and you are 22 and the last born is six months. Then it's so. Mm -hmm. So those are issues of range. So we need to remind ourselves what's range, what's quarterly range, semi quarterly range. Discussion for this week and next. We can people's chat. I see one teacher, you put a thousand at the top. Don't we multiply all the values? We have said no for once you want H, the thousand shall not use it. Then from Asha, is there a thousand at Asha? I think I think those. Now let's come back to this range or measures of spread. Another useful concept in mathematics and let's start with the range. So let's start with the range and see how far. Since they are related to median and I finished them once, the time we have. I talk about range and the others. Actually, I will, if I concentrate on range alone, if the time we have, and since we have learned median formula, let's concentrate on range and quartiles for today. So that next time we shall mention. So for the time being, we're going to concentrate on range, quartiles, so that I can talk about interquartile range and the the others, and we end the day. So, who knows range? I want to move these others. Who range can? Is range is? Is the difference between the biggest and the smallest value of a set. Okay, good. So can you give us the range, can you give us the range for your, what can you give? So you want the range for your, the age at home, the difference between your father and the youngest. What's your father's age? 50. And the youngest? Four. Uh, so the range becomes, the range is, 46, isn't it? So the difference in the highest and the lowest, or the biggest and the smallest range. So each of you, you have a range for something. If you do a test, if you do tests, you know the highest score in a paper, isn't it? What's the range? You have the highest and you have what? The lowest in your senior four. That your highest for you in class, your highest mark was, Actually, in school, some of us, our haste is always below 50. But you never you come with a D1, some of you. The first time you got a D1 in the math was you never. In school, your highest was a 50 or a 60, isn't it? Though some people are lucky, they get the 90. Isn't it? They can get a 90. So you can get your range for your thing, your range. Range for the data you use. When do you use the least, lowest data on which day? And when do you use the highest? Range in terms of height. Who is the tallest at home and who is the shortest? So range can be so many things. Even range for sleeping. When do you sleep for a lot of hours and when do you sleep for minimum? So range is a broad thing, giving us the differences. So whenever they give you any set of data, 
like hers, what she gave us was, she gave us the ages, probably these, those people at home, but somewhere she included a 50. So from this, we just pick the lowest and the highest. That's how we got the 46. So all of us can come with a use age and the rest. They can be max. You want to range. But now I want us to build on range because I want variance and the others will come next time. But since we have done median, range can take us in something that we normally do because of numbers. Range takes us, the next one is quarter, quarter range. So let's talk about quartiles. Because quartiles will bring quarter range. So we have what we call quarters or a quartile. Now a quartile is like those when you take a quarter of something. Like your dad says has four view and divides the land at home into four equal parts. Of my parts are equal. So I want this four to be equal. So I should erase part of this. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. When I erase just one bit, the whole thing disappears. So let me put back and make it like that. So those could be quarters. If you check your classes, when they are four, you have first, second, third, fourth. So those are quarters. So if you are four, you can divide 10,000 by four people. It means each of you has got a quarter. So if you are 1,000, you have 1,000 shillings, they say divide by four people, each of you will get 250. That's what we call the quarters. So this is lower quarter, second, third, and fourth quarter. So in math, we label the quarters by this first quarter by the boundaries, third quarter. So the fourth quarter is not normally seen under when you are labeling, but you divide your work into quarters. So if you check streams, like when I was still in Abstruza, they had only four streams. I hope now they have four streams. But the schools with four streams, they will say, for me, I'm in the first, I'm in the top quarter, I'm in the best class, you're in the top quarter. For me, I'm the second best, third best, last. So for you, don't say you're in the last, you say, I'm in the other last quarter. So our schools, if you have two streams, that means you have not used quarters. But some schools, you check your HS when you are many, they can divide you into four classes. I'm told Mango divides his classes into 10 classes. I think they have the highest number of math takers in this country. They, they can have over five, 500 students did math at Mango last year. That's senior six. Then it. So they cannot have that as one class unless there's a seminar. So you can divide the classes either into four or into so many, depending. So for them, like Mango, uses themselves, they divide into 10 equal classes. Now, why a broad quartiles is to link quartiles to median. When you use this line, it means Q2 becomes a median. Q2 becomes the median because it's halfway. Do you see that? Q2 becomes a median, therefore, the formula for median is the same for formula for second quartile. So it will be L1 plus what we have just done. I used SC, okay, I used this FB over FM times C. So we can write quartiles. What I wanted to introduce these quartiles now is we find that Next week or any time, we're going to calculate quartile using the formula for median. So it says find if instead of saying find the instead of saying find the the median, I can say find the second quartile. Or 
Like last year, they said find 40% of the middle group. So you can give it just a percentage. When I say find 50%, the mark for 50% means somebody wants the second quartile. So second quartile is the same as median. Second quartile is the same as median. And if we know second quartile, we can use this to get lower quartile because the formula will be related. Where we divided by two, lower quartile is a quarter you'll divide by four. So if I'm writing the formula for lower quartile, I'll write that instead of n over two, we write n over four minus cumulative frequency, but this should be here before, doesn't mean median, divide by the cumulative frequency of this quartile class. You can say F1 times the class of that very thing. So this formula we have used for median is very, very powerful. We can get lower quartile, we can get upper quartile. Because here I've used N over four. When I want Q3, I'll do, I'll do three over four N. Need it. So we have a few minutes, but I wanted to give an example for that and we close the day for getting the quartile or interquartile range. One example quickly and you see what I'm talking about. And then we close the day. I think that's the time can allow. So let me clean this, give you an example so that you, you see how to use that. So understanding median is very, very useful for somebody in HSC or somebody doing many courses that we, people do out there. There are people who do accounts, CPA, CCA. We'll need the median. So let me give a, a simple example here so that we conclude our day. Let me give an example here for calculating interquartile. I'll just pick out interquartile range. Okay, or median interquartile range with using calculation. So the question, I'll just pick the question. They gave the weight. Let's say our class here has weight or mass. Then you are the frequency. So 40 to 44, 45. You keep this example, shall use it for accumulative curve to compare. Next, I think when we are starting the next lesson, we want to compare these answers for calculation with the ones from the cumulative curve. It would be a good comparison to confirm your working whether you understood your work. This is 70, 70 to 74. When the frequency is 3, 30, 29, 33, 13, and 1, 1. So I want us to calculate, so I want us to calculate the median weight. So the question, if you check like last year, median weight and two interquartile range. range. Yes, interquartile range. range. So somebody just says this and they will have confused some people. So I say calculate the median and the interquartile range. range. That's our simple assignment quickly. So what do we do? We come up with cumulative frequency. When you are going to draw calculate, you need the cumulative frequency. So cumulative frequency will be three, 33. Then this is 62.
So for median and intercultural ranges, you need this. So from here, like before, we look for the median. We said for median, we need n over two. So it will be one over 10 divided by two. So we are saying number 55 is the one we need for median. Is that it? So looking for number 55, you'll see three. So 55 is where? Uh, so I'll go with this. That is the how the police come and surround your father's home because they, the indication you are the, the right person they're looking for. So that becomes our median class. So which is 50 to 54. So now, since you have already known the formula here, we shall be quick because our time is done. Lower value of it is 49.5, isn't it? Plus the n over two is already 55. The frequency before this is 33. And the frequency of this is 29. Times the frequency of this, I told you just say 50 minus 45, which is five. And you get an answer. That will be your answer for your median. So can, you need to compute that. Now, interquartile range is, we didn't write it, but it's the difference between upper quartile and lower quartile. When somebody says interquartile range, or quartile range, there is interquartile range and there is semi interquartile range. So, interquartile range is the difference between upper quartile and lower quartile. I hope you, you remember that from all level. If you've not, note it somewhere. Interquartile range is the difference between upper quartile and lower quartile. So you have to come and we get upper quartile. Let me go back to black to check because the board is not tough. So upper quartile still we shall have to do like median. Upper quartile is three over four times the 110 because it's three quarters. So three over four times 110, who can give us an answer? Three times 110 divided by four. I've got 82.5. Do you have that? Cynthia, do you have 82.5? It's not for this one, but I'm saying for, it's actually for this one. I'll put it in there. It's there. Is that okay? Now we come and look for 82.5. So you come, it's past 62, so you'll come where? Here. So upper quarter now is past 62, but within 95. So you don't exceed 95, and you, we agree you don't take 62. So when you are calculating now, this class has its lower boundary. So it's not 49, it's 54.5. You see that? Because it's the lower class boundary of this class now, plus the 82 is what you use here. 82.5 is what you've got as the value. Then. The value before is come 62, is the cumulative frequency before. Then the frequency of that class is 33. Now times the class is five. So you also work out that. Then lastly, we finish with lower quartile. Lower quartile, we're going to do a quarter. We do 1110 over four which is 112 over 4. We have 27.5 as the lower quartile. So we're going to do the same thing. Come and look for that. 
when you come, it's 33 here. So I'll take condom off that one for the lower quartile. So some of you failed to select which one to use. So you need to be careful with my example. And I'm being a bit fast because we are already in somebody's time. I think we are already into your break. So some of you are like me who didn't take a break. Don't start yawning. Hmm? Don't cry. Hmm? The guy, eh, you're still strong. In South Africa, they had a lecture for 72 hours, none is stop for three of those three days. It's the longest lecture in this world. 72 hours, three days. People are only going for short co and having tea. And the, the lecturer had those many hours. So I want us to stop there. Our time is done. But I hope we shall revise a bit of this. I want you to get those answers. We shall compare them. I want you to come when you have drawn a cumulative curve. Then from the cumulative curve, you determine the median, you determine the lower quartile and upper quartile so that we shall see the answers by calculations compared the answers by from the graph. That is part of what we call quartiles and range. So I've done range, I've done interquartile range, therefore I've talked about upper quartile and lower quartile in a very, very fast time. So same interquartile would have been the answer we get, we divide it by two. So that is our discussion today. Time is not on our side, so we can stop there. The work, either I'll send some, but there's a lot I need to first discuss Thank you. Thank the you. others. You're welcome. Have a nice week. Let me read any question here. I hope it's not for me. Assalamu alaikum. Hard time is up. I think they've already told me, my bosses, time is up. So nice week.